Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Clan blog. I am watching on TV The Executioner, The Bastard Executioner. Anyway, um, so it's a new show from Kurt Sutter who made Sons of Anarchy. And the lesson here is when you have that hit, that one super, super big hit, you can pretty much produce anything else you want, right? It can go left or right, but don't try to repeat the same thing, right? So he could make probably 200 of the Sons of Anarchy just go on and on and on and on forever. But what he's done is something completely to the right or to the left. Why? Because while you have that pain, that, 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 a little bit of fame and power from the first show, you go ahead and push through, right? And with this show ideal, that might not be as great. But what he can do is on the backside, if this show sucks, it doesn't work out, he can come back later and go, hey, I've got another Sons of Anarchy type show. And they're gonna go, oh, yes, yes, bring it, bring it, bring it. And that's how you play the game, people, right? So when I see people put out all these books and, and courses and shows, and like, if you have a really successful first one, anything you pull second, as long as your money's straight, okay, you can kind of go off track and do some different things. But remember, keep that back pocket for that original, right? Because some people, you know, of course, like Jim Carrey probably gets burnt out doing the same type of movies. Um, what's his name? Matthew McConaughey. You know, for a long time there, he did the same romantic comedy movie over and over again, where he's this happy-go-lucky guy, and, you know, he's good-looking, and, you know, over and over and over again, he'd play those roles. And then for two or three years, he played these really dark, deep characters that creeped you out a little bit, uh, and they were just weird, right? And even the detective, I forgot what it's called, something detective on HBO, but like, he realizes if he ever wants to stop playing the creepy roles because he's looking for the Oscar, he can go right back to romantic comedies. Now he's a little bit older. Now he's a little bit wiser. He'll probably kind of be like the Jack Nicholson, you know, kind of character that is funny but older in the romantic comedies. And my whole point of this video is, listen, while well, strike while the iron's hot, right? And, you know, I see sometimes people make one or two great things online or they'll make one great book and they'll help follow back up with the same exact book, right? And they keep keeping that vein, keep that fame alive, that first original fame alive. Try new things while the iron is hot. You may be surprised that people may purchase that thing too because your name's attached to it. Prime example, J.K. Rowling. She did the whole Harry Potter series, which was amazing. And then she wrote a book under a pseudonym just to test herself. And then when she put her name back on it because people snitched on her, Everywhere, right? Sell, sell, sell. So, yeah. try new things. That's great. But make sure you keep in your back pocket that ability to come back out with that seller. So, this is Erica, Classic Line Blog. You guys have a great day.